Well, hey everybody, Silverius here with a Minecraft video. Today we are going to do something a little different, you see. This is a bonus video, obviously. And I'm going to get, finally, the honor rail achievement. I'm not going to do anything else. Just that. I don't know how long this is going to take, but I'm going to do it. What was that? All right. So, I got more world options. There's a random seed, of course. I'm going to leave the structures and crap on, but let's do this. Let's see what we get, you know. Alright. So it looks like we've uh, started out in a field. This looks like a plains biome. And it is. Oh, hello, chicken. Yeah, basically all that I need is uh, is iron. That's pretty much it. But I, first of all, we do need a few things. So here's the checklist. The first thing we need, obviously, is some wood, and I have none anywhere. This plane is completely wood-free. That stinks. <clears throat> so first we gotta find wood aha I'll take jungle wood <laughs> why not if that's the first wood you encounter you know because once I have the jungle wood or whatever wood we'll take the jungle wood why not then I have to get uh, some tools crafted namely pickaxe we gotta dig down and find a pretty substantial amount of iron or the crap ton, as I like to call it. Then and only then will we be able to procure mine track. Because obviously you need 1,000 pieces of mine track running in a straight line from the place that you started. And I'm going to have to find some gold because I have to use occasion and redstone. Because I have to occasionally use. Uh, booster tracks to keep up the momentum because I don't think it matters what kind of rail you use it just has to be rail so that's the plan and then once I built all of that I can uh, I can set the thing into motion but what I would like to do is not just do it in a straight line but I'd like it to be in a straight line and not go up and down. It can't turn at all. If it turns, you're toast. You can't, you can't get the achievement. It has to be in one solid straight line. And my achievements list, that's one of the, the big ones. It's got the little extra pattern there. I just have to do this, and then there's only two major achievements left. Because I've done all this crap. The only other one is this dastardly one of riding a pig off a cliff. And, of course killing a skeleton from more than 50 meters which is uh, now possible because it turns out in the uh, previous versions of the game the achievement was there but it was impossible to get and that's a serious gigantic cave troll from Notch himself because I know I've done it in the past but no somebody didn't make it possible <laughs> So that's my rant about that. Is this another... Is this a tree? It is a tree. What is it doing in the middle of the ground? I wonder, I wonder. There's only one block of wood. Oh well. So we've got some, some uh, wood going on here. This is excellent. Let's see, I'm still in the Bankai state. And... Let's make some of these sticks, you know. Put a crafting table. The leaf disappeared. So I can randomly place the crafting table, but I would like to find a cave first. Because that way it's easier to get the cobblestone. No, oh, there's a swamp over here. Excellent. There's always caves in the swamp. We just have to find them. Oh, hello, mushrooms. I'll take a couple of you. Do, 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 do. Well, that is some murky water. Don't want to swim in there just yet. Looks like it gets a little bluer out here. That's a really good thing. 
Yeah, so this achievement, this is pretty much all it is. Oh, the jungle biome extends this way. Ah, a toadstool. That's a good one to have. If I get some bones, I can make some giant mushrooms. And feed myself for a while. Oh, hello, mob village. Didn't see you there. Well, this is more convenient than the Minecraft 1.2 adventure. Sheesh. I just stumbled upon a village just like that. Well, that's great, because now we have health, food, and loot, maybe. Maybe there'll be some loot in here. Oh, hello, testificate. Or NPC village, as it were. I guess I have to break in the uh, upstairs. What's up, dude? <laughs> you look funny. That's interesting. Oh, that was the table. Duh. And you usually can find caves and such in these villages. I don't know how big this is, but, uh... Let's see here. That's it's relatively... Oh, hello, there's the blacksmith. That's good when you get a blacksmith. You must be the blacksmith. <laughs> when you, uh... When you go in the back, blacksmith, usually you find... Ah, there it is. Alright, so we've got iron. We've got some boots. We got some bread and an apple. That's awesome. Yes, I'm stealing your crap. What are you going to do about it? Let's put the boots on. Oh, the pants, rather. Sorry. Leggings or pants. Yeah, I stole some of your crap. Here. Let me... What? What do you want? What do you want with me, man? Hmm. Extends out into the desert. Oh, there's loot in here, too. Oh wait, that's a workbench. Never mind. All right, let's check out over here. I don't remember there being anything in the uh, bell towers or whatever it is. But you never know. No, there's nothing. This is just a temporary shelter because if I if I hang out here for most of the day, we might encounter a zombie siege at nighttime. But you know how I like to play on hard mode. Oh, look at these guys. They're all stuck. Well, let's see here. Let's just kind of break into this place, if I can. See if you got any loot or no. Oh, how convenient. Their door is covered by sand. I'm trying to help you guys. I'm going to break up the path. At least now you can get out of your house properly. They were all stuck in there. That's funny to me. Any more houses uh, worth exploring that I can pillage? Blacksmith, I got that one. Got one. Yes. All right, so this is a relatively small village, but it is a good place for us to set up shop because I've already gotten some of that iron, which means I can jump right into the good tools, uh, which will allow me to, you know, skip that whole step. So we need this iron pickaxe. That's most important. And I got some flint. We're going to need a sword, of course. It's my iron sword. And I should also make another pickaxe. Just because. I'm going to collect a whole crap ton of iron, so it doesn't really matter. But at this point, I would like to at least have some of these resources available. Got my health food, you know. Find some gold. I can make a golden apple, too. That'll really help us out later on, because I am still playing on hard. Oh, you know what else? Oh no, I don't want to do that. I need some bones first. I want to change these mushrooms into stew, but not just yet. Uh, alright. So, <clears throat> I have to... Let's see, I wonder if I can get away with this render distance. I do have to eat, though. Ah, blah, 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 blah. Good. Now, oh, what am I saying? There's farms here. I wonder if they get mad if I destroy their farms. Who knows? But uh, I just have to destroy the fully grown wheat. What are you looking at? Get out of here. Noob. <laughs> uh, the, mo the NPCs are so funny. The way they observe you. Like, yes, I'm... I'm pillaging your farms, but don't worry. I plan on replacing all of the seeds that I took. There we are. That's good. 
<laughs> Five in the day away. There we go. Lots of free wood here too, but I'm not gonna mess with that right now. I have a whole freaking jungle forest over there that I can take stuff from if I really need to. All right, so we're gonna go over here. It needs, oh wait, what am I doing? I have to craft this wheat first. Into health food. And I should really pillage the other farms. What, what, what job is yours? You looked funny to me. So we'll go back in here and make some bread. There. That'll keep us for a little while. Plus I have armor, which is good. <coughs> so let's just take a run over here and see if we can find cave, you know. That's the next step. This looks like a lake, and it is. Hmm. Part of that tree is dying. I know there's got to be caves out here close, close by. If I find some sheep, that'd be even better. Oh, speaking of which, let's destroy them. Oh, I like the sword. <laughs> bam, 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 blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Oh, the chickens, of course. I have to have the chickens. What are you doing? Chicken, oh, you're hiding. It's not going to work. I'm basting the chickens. Oh, the sun's setting. It's just perfect timing that I found these sheep, too, because I have the wools I need. I'm going back to the NPC village, and I'm going to craft a bed so I could stay in overnight. Which house will I choose? Maybe the one where all those guys were stuck in the in the house because they couldn't leave. <laughs> it's so hilarious. Uh, let's go over here. It doesn't have a crafting table. Oh, there's the moon. Full moon tonight. Actually, it's a full moon every night. What are you gonna do? All right. So we put this in here like so. Doesn't matter what color you use. And then we have a creeper bed. How exciting is that? All right, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be careful. There's lava. Oh, there's the zombies. You know. Do I want to take them on? No, they're gonna burn alive in a minute. So we're gonna go down here and put the bed down. And good night. I'll see you idiots in the morning. All right, so it's daytime, and those zombies should be good and good and on fire. Oh yeah, now I gotta kill them before they completely die. Yeah. There we go. Just because if I kill them uh, before they die from the flame, I get the experience points. Excellent. Not that I really need the experience for anything, because I don't plan on... on. Uh <coughs> oh, this is interesting. There's sandstone down here. There's also some coal. That's useful. I need to make torches. Oh, this goes pretty far down. We'll take it. Maybe this connects to a cave. That would be amazing. Does it? I'm going to die. I'm going to drown! No! That was close. It's harder to mine down here under the water, but you can hold your breath for about 20 seconds, which is fine. Alright, so... I suppose if I did a little more excavating, I could find uh, a cave, but I just needed the coal. Ain't bird bad. It's just so weird, though, that I didn't find any caves yet. Oh, never mind. I'm seeing things. Well, this desert doesn't look too large, so perhaps I will get lucky. The other reason I slept in that bed was to establish a spawn point. Whoops, don't eat the apple. Not yet. I should have really stored that in the chest, but I didn't. What are you going to do? What am I doing? <laughs> uh, an apple, excellent. Now I can't eat the other one. 
Apples are delicious. They're the red delicious kind too, which is sweet, which is, uh, sweet rather. But where are these caves at? Where are they at? Where? Oh, hello! Oh my! Hello, Enderman. Well, there's Enderman running around in the daytime. He's dead for sure. If he went down into that cave, it'd be set. That's awesome. I found a ravine. It's even more epic than caves. And there's our first spot of iron. And it looks like there's an abandoned mine. Awesome! So this just got really awesome really quick because that abandoned mine has free mine track. I just gotta find a safe way down there. Hey, pig. Looks like it's your day to die, too. There, give me some of that. Yeah. That's totally sweet. So, this is the next task, is to get down to this ravine. And in the next episode, we will scale this ravine and start gathering mad resources so we can build this mine track. So I will see you all again. Thanks for watching. Oh, yeah.